And right now, police say a disturbing YouTube trend is the reason why an eight-year-old boy from Salisbury was severely burned. The incident happened Wednesday morning, but today police released details about what happened. WBTV's David Lisnett, live tonight in Salisbury. David, uh, tell us how this child is doing. Is he okay? Well, Paul, police tell us he has what they say are severe second-degree burns. He is recovering in a hospital in Winston-Salem. And again, they say this all started with a YouTube video that involved perfume and a cigarette lighter. There were three juveniles involved. Police say three children were playing in this house on 2nd Street while waiting for the school bus. So it is just like putting gas and striking a match. They were mimicking a video they had seen on YouTube using a lighter and perfume to create a flash of fire. But it didn't work quite the way it did in the video. So the reality of it is this child is burnt with severe second degree burns and is at the hospital and will have um, a long road then. So they don't understand uh, beyond just lighting that lighter or striking a match what it's going to do, the end result. Kimberly Bowling has a background in the fire service and a master's in criminal justice. Watching some of the more than 300,000 perfume and fire videos available right now on YouTube, and while not speaking specifically about the Salisbury case, she said kids don't understand that what they see here often isn't reality. It's a curiosity thing, watching videos. Hey, that's pretty cool. Even though the videos may say, uh, you know, this is dangerous, don't try this at home, uh, you know, check with your parents type of things, they ignore all that because the curiosity is, I can do this too. I just saw another 10-year-old or 12-year-old or whatever do it on video. So they try the same thing, not understanding that the end result is going to be catching their room on fire. Very interesting. Bowling says that there are three reasons that children will play with fire. She says one reason is anger, another curiosity, and another simply to want to destroy something. She says there are lots of resources available for parents, including your local fire department. Live in Salisbury, David Wisman, WBTV, on your side.